Shalom, everyone, and welcome back to Star Wars Nuts of Republic. Last time we left off, uh, <laughs> we had a rough go about it on the Star Forge. New cutscene. Okay. Hey, Bastila. Master, why have you summoned me? Without my battle meditation, there is a chance the Republic capital ships could break through and attack the Star Forge itself. This will not take long, Bastila. You will be able to resume your battle meditation soon enough. I only wanted you to know that Revan is here on the Star Forge. Bum, bum, bum. The force is bringing us towards a confrontation with my old master. The Star Forge has drawn our enemies together so they may all die in a single <laughs> glorious day. You must kill Revan to prove your Sorry. It's just, he has no idea how the force works. Began in the Rakatan Temple. Yes, Lord Malak. I sense your fear, Bastila, but it is unfounded. The power of the Star Forge will feed the dark side within you. It will give you the strength you need to defeat my old master. Stay here in the command center while you use your battle meditation against the Republic fleet. Revan will find you here in due time. It is inevitable. Of course, Master. I will not fail you again. Okay. Perhaps you will triumph, Bastila. But even if you fail, it will give me the time I need to complete my preparations on the station's defenses. And then we shall see if Revan can stand against the full fury of the Star Forge. <laughs> yeah, well, joke's on you. Oh, yeah. What are we looking at? Looks just like Sith soldiers. I don't see any reinforcements in either direction. Okay. Okay, only got one. That's fine. Well, okay. <laughs> Thank you to whoever used Force Wave there. Much appreciated. Oh man, dick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Calm down. Oh, I got that guy too. Didn't even know that guy was there. Those guys were there. Enjoy your time on the floor. Oh my god, why? I didn't- I never told you to attack that guy. Really? Oh man, no, this is bad, bad, bad. Really bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. Uh, equip. Squad recovery stim. Okay, can't use it while... 
Jolie can, er, not Jolie, Juhani can use it now. What? Or maybe not. I guess it's not an in combat item. Okay. Did not hit the other guy. Oh my god, really? Okay. Team. Life support for everyone. Except for Juhani. Because stupid click interface. Let's see what you got. Oh my god, really? I didn't know this guy was not. I didn't know there was a Jedi that was not in stasis. Oh boy. God, this is rough. Oh my god, seriously, when does it stop? Are we done now for a little bit? Do I have time to like chill out? What? Your wish. Sure. Okay. <sighs> go. Now what's over here? Anywhere wor worth actually going or what? Well, there's certainly somebody here. And yeah, uh, of course. Now we're going to get ambushed from all sides again. Okay, I did not hit him. Didn't say that he saved it, didn't say that he was immune. It just said nothing. Gave me no information at all. Nice grenade throw, buddy. I'm sure you killed plenty of rats. Space rats. You know. Those, uh, incredibly dangerous Starforged space rats. Okay. Well, moving on. Hopefully. Without interruption. <laughs> Everybody's already leveled. I really don't 
care to fight this much. Your wish? Mm -hmm. Ah, Jolie. Yes? There we go. Okay, well, now that we have... You know what? I'm gonna take every break I can to save. Hey! Okay. So basically, I have to fight you guys. Fair enough. Okay, get over here. So I can stasis field as many of you as possible. Oh my god, enough with the... There we go. All right. Now you. Ugh. No reinforcements? Nope. So does that mean I can proceed in peace? Please. Please. Oh, thank God. Sup, Bastila? Three on one. You well, know you can't do those odds. You're wasting your time. I've seen the Jedi for what I don't... they are. Weak and afraid. That doesn't mean you have to be a Sith. Masters of the Force. You've forgotten that lesson, Revan. Now you must pay the price. Here on the Star Forge, the power of the dark side is at its strongest. This time, you will not defeat me. How many of those people behind that door did you think felt the same way? Oh, come on. Seriously? Malik teach you that trick? Yeah, you know what? Here's how things are going to go down. You're going to stay in stasis, and I'm just going to keep lobbing thermal detonators at your feet. <laughs> I see now I have you. Even though you're only a shell of your former self, you're still a formidable opponent. You I do realize I just tossed rocks at you, basically. Explody rocks, but still. You were a fool to give it all up and follow the light side. The dark side has made me stronger than I ever was before. I have a greater command of the Force than all but the most powerful Jedi Masters. As Malak teaches me the greatest secrets of the Sith, I will unlock more of my potential. Eventually, there'll be no limit to what I can accomplish with the Force. Uh, yeah. You'll accomplish death and destruction with the dark side, nothing else. Jedi propaganda. The dark side is only a tool. And Malak will train me in its use. Eventually, I will surpass my master and challenge him. If I am worthy, he will die by my hand. Then I will take on my own apprentice, and the cycle will begin again. This is the way of the Sith. It is how we assure our leaders are always the strongest and most worthy. And in what context is that not death and destruction? The very thing you defined? <laughs> you know, killing people. No, Revan. It is you who are doomed. And the lobbying of the detonators begins anew. Sit down before I sit you down. <laughs> I, can sense it. I haven't moved an inch. The light side is failing you while the power of the Star Forge re-energizes me. Soon this will all be over. I have not faltered, Vaseline. You have been misled by the dark side. Uh. The dark side will always triumph over the light. Malak has assured me of victory. 
You can't defeat me here on the Star Forge. You can't. <sighs> oh. Interesting. So. No. Why? Wait, what? When did that happen? Did she one-shot me? Did she one-shot me? Is that what just happened? Okay, let's... What? <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Now I'm not followed you, even though you're only a I can't. The dark as Jedi. No. Okay, I'm gonna save on my second slot here. Oh my god, she did one-shot me. Although, that time it was a two-shot. But still, oh my god, that is terrifying. Oh, I guess I could just... Do that. I can sense it. You're the one doubled over. While the power of the Star Forge re energizes me, soon this will all be over. The dark side will always. Okay, uh, I'm in a bit of a pickle here. Uh, so, if you wouldn't mind just not moving for a second, Bastila, that would be great. Man, she got me again. Oh my god, that force lightning though. <sighs> okay, let's try this one more time. Oh 
Oh my god, that lightning. That lightning is so bad. The dog. Here we go. We got her this time. Just keep thermal detonating. This is not possible. Oh. You've rejected the dark side. You are a weak and pathetic servant of the light. How can you still stand against me? Why can't I defeat you? Now you see the dark side is no stronger than the light. I see you speak the truth. I'm no match for you. Ugh. For the sake of what we once shared, do not make me suffer. End my life quickly. There is no other way. Excuse me? No, 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 no. Have. I have fallen to the dark side. I am the apprentice to the Dark Lord himself. You cannot let me live. You do remember that I was at one point the Sith Lord and you let me live, right? You were a special case. The Council had no other choice. They needed you alive so they could discover the location of the Star Forge. It was an act of desperation. It was my responsibility to watch over you, to make sure you did not slip back into your evil ways. I was supposed to protect you from the dark side. You did more than protect true, me. I possess Phoenix Faith. But was it only an illusion brought about by our bond? And what was the cost? Please, this is too painful. End it now, quickly. There is no other way. You love me. Oh. There was a time I yearned for, and yet dreaded to hear those words. I loved you too, but I could never face who you were. Malak knew how I felt. Any part of the light that was within me would be extinguished when I killed you. But what good is love? It cannot save me from the sea of blackness I am drowning in. I have betrayed everything I ever believed in. How can I atone for that? By giving it your best. Yes, I could join you in your battle against the Dark Lord. That alone would not make up for all I have done. Yet it would be a step in the right direction. There you go. How would you be able to trust me? How do you know I wouldn't turn on you when you face Darth Malak? How do you know the dark side wouldn't make me betray you again? You play a dangerous game. Are you certain you wish to take this risk? I could end your life and gain Malak's favor with a single stroke of my lightsaber. <laughs> That's cute. You are brave, and some would say foolish. But you are also right. The dark side has not wholly consumed me. I cannot raise my blade against you. You will go on to defeat Malak. This I have little doubt. You will have gone from being the Sith Lord himself to the savior of our galaxy. And you said you loved me. This may not be the best time to say it, but I love you too, with all my heart. After this, no. Hmm. Nothing could make me feel safer than to be loved by you. You should go. Malak awaits. This isn't over yet. For any of us. I should stay here though. If we face Malak, I am afraid his dark presence will overwhelm me. It would not be wise to expose myself to such temptation. Yeah. Yes. That would be for the best. There you go. You don't need me to defeat Malak anyway. Now I understand that a true Jedi is a match for any Sith, even the Dark Lord himself. I will stay here in this chamber and use my battle meditation to aid the Republic fleet. I am their only hope of destroying the Star Forge and ending the Sith menace. You must go and face Malak, but you have to hurry. Once I turn the battle in the Republic's favor, we won't have much time to escape the Star Forge before it's destroyed. Good luck, my love, and may the Force be with you. And also with you. Ah, the Republic fleet. There, a break in the Sith formation. Green Squadron, move in. 
Green Squadron moving in. Okay, well, we're at time for today, so that's going to do it for this one. So thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed all that fun stuff, as always. If you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like or a comment. Any and all feedback is very much appreciated, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.